Emmanuel Macron wins. He gets over 65% of the votes, according to the Ipsos estimate. This is indeed a historical night. Yes, indeed, 65% of the estimates of the early results, as you mentioned. I do believe we have the images uh, of people celebrating perhaps this victory, as polls did indicate it was likely he did have a 20-point lead, Marca, on Friday. That was when the last polls were allowed uh, to be taken. But it's actually higher than what we saw indicated. Yes, on it, Friday. It, it's a 30 percent margin. And obviously we're seeing images of French flags being waved in uh, the plaza in the Louvre, where the Emmanuel Macron supporters have gathered. Uh, we're maybe going to listen and then we're going to head straight to Claire Williams, who's probably in the middle of this joyful uh, crowd. Obviously, this is much better uh, than expected for Emmanuel Macron. He's winning with a comfortable 30% margin over Marine Le Pen. Claire, are you with us? <laughs> I'm with you, Mark. Absolutely. It's total euphoria here in front of the Louvre Museum in the center of Paris. Emmanuel Macron has done better than people here expected. I did speak to some supporters earlier on and they said, we just hope he gets more than 60%. He's got 65%. He's got well over that 60% benchmark. In the last two weeks, he did slip down at one point to around 58% in the polls, but now he's got that 65%, so total euphoria in the crowd. As you can see behind me, they're still manically waving their flags. People are absolutely delighted here. And, and Clara, when can we expect them to hear from Emmanuel Macron? People here are going to have to wait a little bit longer. We're not expecting for him to come down for another hour or so, perhaps not until about 10 o'clock. So in the meantime, people are going to be kept busy with some music, some dancing, a few speeches from perhaps other members of the En Marche team, Manuel Macron's movement, of course, and even Magic System, a popular pop group, should be coming down and playing here later on tonight. So hopefully the, the rain will hold out and the party will continue for people here. What's interesting is there are still people actually arriving. Security was so tight and everyone's having to be patted down and checked thoroughly their bags everything the whole works some people are still running up to the stage and trying to get there and trying to see what's happening and trying to join the crowd so i expect the area here in front of the louvre to fill up more and more in the next couple of hours before emmanuel macron arrives